Hello everyone, today we are checking out Omaru Polka with Hologram Circus. Now, I'm not very familiar with Polka, but this was a recommendation from one of you, and I'm pretty excited to check this out. Uh, I've obviously heard of Polka before, since we have been uh, taking a look at some of the Hololive talents, as well as the Niji Sanji talents, and this is a name that has come up before. But this is my first time really hearing her voice in a song or just how she sings, what kind of music she makes, because this is an original song. So let's just jump right on into things in three, two, one, play. Okay. Okay. Wow, a lot of energy. <laughs> Okay, okay, very high energy, very upbeat, very theatrical. Let's go back a bit, because I, we've got some fast lines just rolling off her tongue. I wouldn't really, I don't know if I'd consider the singing. It's a very, it's like a musical, it's theatrical she's presenting here. She's got a very, very impressive control over the demeanor of her voice. She can very, very accurately control how much like breathiness she's adding, how deep she's going, and just the atmosphere around her voice when she's projecting it. Like that was a very smooth transition there. A ringmaster. Okay, getting some... Mm. Okay, that was not where I expected the instrumentation to go from the drums. We were getting the steady drum beat that's kind of building up, and then we introduced this very high-pitched piano that kind of lightens the entire mood of the song when I thought it was going to get a little more intense. Ooh, we're getting some horns. All right, so this is quite interesting because, you know, in most original songs we'll get from uh, these VTuber talents, a lot of the time it'll be something that kind of showcases the vocal ability or the instrumental ability of the music team or the uh, artist. But here we've got a very, uh, this feels like it's a very much trying to tie in her backstory or her lore for the company that the company has provided to the talent. And it's, it's doing a very good job of that. It's really just creating an atmosphere that I think her fans would really enjoy. Because I, I think this is a very much a, a, a sort of a love letter to the people that have like seen her channel grow and like know the context of her channel. This is a sort of embodying that persona, that personality that she has as an entertainer. Oh, that was a nice. I like that. So we were getting this this really isolated vibrato from the vocal track, and so when you, when you go into that high high pitch treble tone with a reverb, it gets a little. It's a little dichotomy there that serves as a transition, as opposed to the dichotomy itself being the transition. So let's go back here. You can hear the instrumentation match that. Nice. All right. All right. I think that was sort of like the hook, the chorus we've really got. And it's pretty catchy. You know, that was a nice little back and forth. We've got these choral interjections that are helping emphasize the catchiness. Without that, it might not be such a catchy chorus. But because of that, that back and forth there, we've got a progression. We've got something that's pretty easy to follow. All right. 
Interesting. So we're sustaining the instrument, uh, the instrumentation here, but the vocals are getting softer and breathier. You're gonna hear that we're kind of a little, a little, we're falling away from the climax of the song, but because of the sustained instrumentation here, it still feels like we're pushing forward. It still feels like oh, we're building up to something, even though the vocals are kind of mellowing down. Ooh, another back. Mmm. Ooh, getting the. I love those drums. Okay. The, the song is uh, a little. I don't want to say chaotic because the instrumental has been a pretty steady, pretty well planned out, but it's really just these vocals that are uh very unexpected you know and it's not unexpected in the sense that it's a particularly erratic or eccentric it's just that the the progression of the song what you'd expect in a song isn't quite easily identifiable because you know we've got our chorus but we're getting these uh, fadeaways and then build-ups that seem like they're going somewhere but it's really just a transition and we'll get like that cut out to just instrumentation we'll just get some drums and then we'll go into another vocal segment that doesn't you can't really tell where it's trying to direct your ears to Like, like here you can tell this is a very obvious buildup, but I I don't I can't confidently say that I would interpret this as a buildup with what we've heard of the song before without that drum, without that drum helping us uh, helping communicate that this is a buildup to something big. I'm not sure if the vocals themselves would be able to communicate that with the track record the song has established so far. And I'm saying that, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think this is a very fitting uh composition for this type of uh this type of talent really i think as a song i think the role of this piece as a song is secondary to the role of the piece as a presentation of this vtuber i think this vtuber and her persona her personality her backstory i think that all is the priority here but we still got a very well made song to present that and i appreciate that i really like that mm, okay interesting <laughs> you know i i interpreted that as a build-up but uh I'm not sure if I I mean you you could say that objectively that was a build up progression with the beat uh and just the tone of the entire song the demeanor building up to something but now that we've got this new segment rather than really referencing that chorus we got before which I interpreted as a chorus perhaps uh, I'll see a different real climax of the song but I'm pretty sure that is the chorus and I'm pretty sure we're going to hear that again but uh, this new interjection here, or well, I say interjection, it's more like a segment here, is rather unexpected. <laughs> and I think that's really just the entire tone of the song because we've got this uh, progression. You know, it's not like we've had these massive switch up from uh, we, we haven't had this mass massive switch up uh, from the instruments being used or really just the atmosphere of the song per se. But it's just these composition choices that are so unusual that really just catches you off guard. But at the same time, the song isn't difficult to follow, which is very impressive to me. And I think that's a very difficult, to, uh, difficult thing to do to make a song intentionally chaotic without making it messy. And that's very impressive. All right. Okay. 
piano cut out. Ooh, that was interesting. We used the vocal inhale as our transition impact. Instead of having the drums really emphasize the transition there, we had the vocal inhale do it. But, you know, usually what do you have that? A vocal inhale be the transition? It's usually something much more dramatic, emotional. And, you know, we kind of got that, but it's, it's um, going into something very upbeat and energetic, which is not usually what you'll get when you have a transition on a vocal inhale which is again we're getting these very interesting composition choices where uh, you have a, a segment that generally functions for a certain role but uh, and we're inserting that segment into the song but we're not using it for that role which makes it sound chaotic but not messy because the segment itself is still well defined it's still well presented so <laughs> let's keep going. That's nice. Oh. The most I've heard is three vocal tracks layering over each other, but I'm not sure if there was a fourth one there. Okay, now we're definitely getting four. Okay. That bass kind of went crazy there too. <laughs> Again, it's just those little interjections, like uh, for example, that uh, that complete cutout with, and just the demeanor of her voice there when she's doing that vocal isolation line, and, and transitioning into this sort of upbeat. It's it's very unexpected, and I think it's massive props to the composer and just the music team for this song because it's, uh, and of course the vocalist as well because. <laughs> just the entire atmosphere of the song is, I believe, a very, very fitting for a circus. You know, it's, um, I think it's very well, you know, when you're listening to this without context, you know, it sounds like they didn't know what they were trying to write. <laughs> but when you have the context of just, I suppose, just the song name itself, it's, it's a very, very impressive way to write to the theme of the song and i think that's not something you really see per usual because it generally you know you have your stereotypical oh if it's a sad song write in a minor key and just kind of play to that and then if happy song write to a major key and play to that but you don't really have this sort of it, it almost feels like a meta <laughs> composition where it's where the composition itself, the way it's organized, feels like what's communicating the message or what's communicating the theme of the song. And I think the fact that they're able to do that and still make it sound cohesive is very, very impressive to me. Is that, a, is that a bass there? That sounds odd. <laughs> okay, what what was that instrument? There, there was just why was it so that instrument right there? That that I I'm not sure if that was a bass. Was that a bass? It, it sounded way 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 too high in the mix. <laughs> that was not that should not have been that high in the mix. That sounds like a bass. Why was it so high in the mix? Yeah, like like you can hear that bass right now. You can hear that bass right now, and it's like where it should be in the mix. I, it could be higher, honestly, in the mix right now. 
But <laughs> why was it so high before? If it was going to be that high, you, ha you have to at least let it fade back down to where you want it, it through the transition. You can't just cut it off <laughs> and have it go to way down low. That felt... That was, that was one thing I would say felt messy rather than chaotic. But let's keep going. I really like... Alright, I really like how the song... Nice. I really, really like how the song uses those chimes and horns. I think, um, in, in general, the mix itself, those chimes, those horns, and the vocal inter... I think I just had a voice cry there. I think, and the vocal interjections we've had uh, have been very, very impressive. I really, really like those. Um, but that said, the song is very enjoyable, but it's not something I would necessarily listen to again. I think it's a very much a, the song feels like a show. It's an event in itself, but it doesn't feel like it plays the role of a song. It feels like a presentation of the character's persona and their attitude, their atmosphere, their channel. And I think that's I think that's a very legitimate way to present a channel. I think that's a lot of times the role an original song should play for a VTuber talent. But I think um the composition, you know, getting that chaoticness, it's you're you're definitely losing out on the role of a song in terms of just you know getting something catchy or that sounds good to an audience and that they'd want to keep on hearing that they'd want to listen to again and again and i think this song it's much more of an event than it is a song that said i did really enjoy it I, and i thought it was a lot of fun i did really like it but I, I think there's some trade-off, you know, some trade-off in playing to this kind of theme, whereas you kind of miss out on the catchiness and uh, what you want a song to really be to an audience. That said, there's personal preference on everything, and obviously this song did not do badly at all. It's got like almost 4 million views at the time of watching this, so obviously this song saw success, and... I think, but a, uh, personally, I think a large part of that the song's success is not because of the song as much as it is the personality behind the song. But overall, I did have a lot of fun. Thank you very much for this recommendation. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. As always, feel free to recommend more in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you next time.